Hello, Editing K here. Um, I haven't been around for about a week. I know, I know. Uh, life's been a little hectic and I took a week off. But I'm trying to get back in some sort of a groove. Yeah, so just enjoy the next few videos that I recorded weeks ago and just didn't put up. Um, I think I have regained some sort of sanity and I'll be trying to see how editing goes again because editing was really difficult for a while and um, but I don't think you care about that. I am I am trying, going to try and be more consistent in the next coming weeks so just be patient with me as I try to figure all of this out. Hi. Welcome. Welcome back. Jackson Wang is just not going to sleep. I don't feel like sleeping even though I have a very early appointment tomorrow morning. Well, in like eight or seven hours. Um, so I'm not I'm not gonna sleep either. I'm just gonna react to his new song, his newest song, Pretty Please. Um, featuring or well it says Jackson Wang and Galantis. Every time I see it, I'm just like, yeah, anti like, I just, just too many ways that that comes in. Anyway, what's going on? The song? Play? No. You just not pay attention to the bridging name? Oh, what's, what's this? Sir, you're right that you're closer to the people in the name. I hate. Okay, no, I'm gonna talk about it. Um, what kind of phone is this? A 2020 in a babes. I thought it was a, a pop of flip phone. Not even a new flip phone. Well, okay, it makes sense. There's a grease. Yeah, okay, I'm just about to So I'm sweating. She's on her, oh, five minutes, why is it five minutes now? Oh. Oh, none of, none of that happened? Or did it? <laughs> Hold on. It's credits? The rest of this is... Thought, you know, do I want to watch this right now? Yes, I do. To do something visual like this. But that's, that's like a little twist from a hundred ways. I was wondering because was in a hundred ways it was like ancient Chinese Romeo and Juliet. Yes, but it this really time was. it's more modern than a hundred ways. I was wondering. I didn't want to seem racist. I didn't say it, but I was like, oh, she looks like the girl from the same. Everyone was working so hard. Virgin is Virgin is adorable. More behind the scenes from that. I don't know how behind the scenes. He's good man. Um, okay. It's interesting that he brought up um, Chinese. It's not my forte. I don't know. Um, Chinese Hong Kong old school love stories because I got 
I got uh what's that song called? Some Michael Jackson song. Why well, can't I remember the song? I don't remember the name of the song, but I'm seeing the video in my head. Um I got that song from it. I got vibes from that song, that music video I should say from it. Um because of that there's a and it's not just the, the the trope is one thing. We're gonna talk about trope in a second. The trope is already one thing, but I got vibes of that specific music video for some reason um from this one and yeah yeah it's kind of how you answer so it's interesting that he mentioned that but considering um and he mentioned it again as well a hundred ways considering the based on what he said the song is like a modern version of a hundred ways that's actually pretty fucking cool um and i like how you can easily you can easily say that they got reincarnated and him to just drawn to her in, even in this life kind of a thing. Now, I was talking about the, um, what her name, that trope of the guy chasing the girl. That shit needs to stop. Not just the guy chasing the girl. The protagonist chasing the love interest. Two man, two woman, man and woman. Dog and cat. Stop. Stop. That shit is not cute. That is what we call stalking in the real world. Um, if you like that bit of fantasy, big up yourself. I don't. Because it's cute until it's not. And to me, it stopped being cute a long time ago. It stopped being cute when them things they really happen in real life and it it don't end in the same way it's cute until it happens in real life and the person being pursued feels like they have to give in because that's what you're supposed to do like I know I'm getting kind of I've been getting kind of what you call that serious in these last few videos but like man I have opinions and I want to share them is that so bad um however that aside Actually no, I like the song. The video is not my cup of tea. Um, I do like the song, and I like what Jackson is doing. I like personally, me not call it down. Pandems when I said that part per se, but personally, I think the Got Seven Boys are doing very well for themselves individually and as a group, and I wish them the best. In their music careers interpret that how you will anyway again we talk I think we talk too much now oh side note Jackson looks fucking sexy in this song I'm not a fan of the dancing in the rain thing but that aside I'm also glad he got a little wet I'm glad we had a little white t-shirt contest going on at some point you know what I'm um, I'm also glad that she didn't get wet. I'm also glad that she didn't have to be in the rain as well. You know what I'm saying? So, that was nice. And, um, okay. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, still have an outro. So, the red button and the blue button, just look at it. Black line that says comment. I like talking to you guys, so it doesn't really matter to me. But if you don't want, if you want to, or don't want to, it's also fine. Um, and I will see you in another video. Hello and welcome to One Verse. This is a podcast where I talk about my favorite Korean artists by looking at some of the verses that they've done, but just one verse from each song.